What's a happening, Keepers of the Flame? We're going to do a Scorpio reading. I'm just going to go off views. I know it's kind of unfair because, uh, like, a lot of the population is Scorpios. Did you know that? Dun, dun, dun. And you're going to get uh, medicine whether you likes it or not. That's why so many um, channels are based off Scorpio. A lot of, like, Scorpio channels for Scorpios only are people looking to understand Scorpios are out there. That's why they're so popular. Because, yeah. Spring ring ding ding time happens nine months before Scorpio season, if you know what I mean. So, oh, I'm sorry, we're receiving our medicine whether you like it or not. So we're, we're working on detoxifying. I have the window open, that's why my hair is going. We're working on detoxifying things, debunking all the myths and weirdness. Like, I don't know why people think that Scorpio is like the, the sex god of the zodiac. You looking to get like laid and like disconnected? Find a Pisces or an Aries. Scorpios like are committed relationships. We really do. So, oh, I have a new deck. I didn't tell you about that started shuffling and then I'm like oh I should probably record okay Scorpio's Essence Midnight Magic Mushroom Deck happening okay this happened while I just did a video and I um on garbage day Friday of last week <laughs> I watched the garbage man leave around 7 a.m with my all my cords just swinging from the house, and I'm like, what is going on? And I was like, oh, I don't have any internet. And I go outside to pull the bins back in, and the cord that connects from the house to the post laying in my driveway. It's beautiful. It's magical. It was glorious. I'm like, oh, I guess we're playing in the dirt all week. <laughs> and that's what I did. It was glorious. I loved it. It was so awesome. So yeah, it's kind of fun when shit happens. So that's what happened there. And in all my boredom, I was like, I'm gonna search for a second. And so upon my surfage, I got this tarot deck of mushrooms. It's really, really pretty, really gorgeous deck. And it's by Sarah Richard. My only qualm with it, only like uh, your king of cups fall out here, so I'm going to keep it. Um, my only qualm about this deck is there's not enough medicinal uses for it. Like there's ways to like legally get around the white coat uh, nut job, um, death grip if you will on um naturopathic medicines so you can say things like for homeostasis purposes or you can say things like they used to use it for this or back in the day or in the year blah 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 they were practicing this with this type of um, medicine mushroom you can say things like that you just can't use medical advice you can't give it as medical advice but you can say things like they used to put this in this and it used to um, be said to have helped with this now using the c word is a big freaking no-no don't use the cure word the white coats will come for you in ways you cannot understand because they they have the patent on the cure word for whatever reason, even though we all know what kind of cure they're, they're into. Now, some people get a lot of help from that, and that's okay. But for those of us who, who do not get hardly any help from it, it's good to know these things. So I a little... Sometimes they will say it, but like a lot of times they kind of leave it out. They'll tell you if it's psychedelic or if it's poisonous, which is a good thing. And there, I mean, it's really nice. 
Sorry for the... I can't get away from the glare. I'm like, the window should take care of that. Well, that's pretty good. See, it looks like a little bird bath and a snail. Usually they have like an... Oh, the snail is the animal. Hello. It doesn't look like she's full. Oh, there she is. See, they do it so wispily. Wisp... Is that even a word? They make the, the photo so wispy. <laughs> You'd see like this right here and then her little antenna's coming up. It's so sweet. She did a really good job with this. It just captures the essence of it. Not necessarily the accuracy, but the essence. And don't ask me to pronounce all these names correctly. Vertigris agaric. Agaric? I feel like it's agaric. Strophiaria agri nosa. Agri nosa. I know a little bit of Latin. Kind of happens by default if you study plants or medicine. I'm waiting for your back to be ready. I just can't time right now. I'm not sure. But it's gonna be ready. Six of cups. Justice. Why do you have room, Scorpio? What's that happening? Oh, there's my chance. Take it away. There it is. Two of four. Choice. Moving forward. Four of cups in reverse. Strength in reverse. Dude, look at the strength. It's Chaga, by the way. Chaga, Chaga, Chaga. It's, isn't that beautiful? Ugh. Okay. So you're drained here. You start off as the king of cups. You make a choice. You move forward with it. And you spill your cups. And then it depletes you. Well, dang, Scorpio. What do we got out of the roots? King of wands. Ooh. Seven of pentacles in reverse and nine of swords. <laughs> there you are, darling. The nine of swords in reverse. That's a, If it's in reverse, it's Scorpio card. That's total. What? You leave right now. Get out. Rawr. That's funny because you got that. Jaguar. Dude. Got the Jaguar in reverse, too. Scorpio is having none of your bullshit. <laughs> Cross watchers, none of it. Um, mind cap for the King of Wands. Look at that. How freaking adorable. I wasn't alive in the 70s, but this feels like 70s nostalgia or something. Were mushrooms big in the 70s? I don't know. So, Fefe, I probably deserve that glare for blocking your window. I bet. <laughs> so, FYI, <laughs> might have a kitten visiting shortly. Sorry, if she comes up. Just take it easy, okay? I got cards on the table. Don't slip and injure your, your beaner, okay? Okay. Okay. I was trying to move out of the cat's bed. Now I brought the whole table. <gasps> Wind. Okay. So in the roots, I feel like you're waiting for someone... To meet you in your desire here. Hi. I warned you. Kitten, I'll be gonna leave you. So baby. Well, go ahead. You can sit in the window. You can go in the window, so it's open. Oh. <laughs> I love you too. That's a good kitten noise. Yes, yes. Okay. Seven. 
yeah, you're not willing to let that grow. Like, I feel like you've taken it and uprooted it and flipped it on its head because you're just frustrated with it. And the Nine of Swords, and you're not letting anyone else in until you can figure out how to successfully grow this. Because you don't. You say no to all the emotional BS. But it's, it's starting to... Thank you for visiting, Sophie. I th well, that's what she thinks of the strength card. <laughs> Sophie says poo poo to the uh, depleting your energy for things that don't fill your cups. <laughs> go, Sophie, Fay, go. I will take your advice any day, girl. At least that's my education. Okay. So yeah, you you started off with like an authority, a strength, and a solidarity, and almost like a um, not necessarily a firm, but like a solid foundational base here. And you've made a choice, you've moved forward, and then. So I feel like you're like, no, nah, I'm not going any more into that. I think you're dialing it back here and you're like, okay, I guess I'm recouping because I'm not, you're not willing to let anything grow until you've gotten this. So either you want that to come forward, maybe people are seeing you as the king of cups when you're actually the king of wands inside Scorpios do live in the desert in holes in the ground in the desert they like that heat right so Fefe? can I get the king of cups clarified Ooh, thank you ace of cups yeah that's your own personal sovereignty and you're just I don't think you're finding anything that matches and you're tired of putting your um, putting your emotions into it Ooh, Scorpio, don't become them. So, Fefe, uh, what are you doing? There's nothing in there. Are you going to just clean out the corner energetically for me? Thanks, love. Okay, so I... <laughs> Please be careful. Don't snaggle, snuggle. Don't hurt yourself, boy. Yes, you're a good kitten. Oh, she loves you too, Scorpio. She loves you too. I wouldn't step up. Hey, that's my coffee. I'm not the good for kitchen. I feel like you are totally sovereign here and you just wanted to move forward and you made a choice. And that choice led you to something that wasn't going to. Is that white basket fungus? Again, if they said medicinally what they were, I would look them up for you, but they're not. It is a fun deck. It's fun to read about, but like it doesn't tell you specifically like, hey, it's been used for this, good for that, yada, yada, yada. Okay, here we are. White basket fungus. Let's get that one clarified. Okay, not half the deck. All right. Okay. We got the Mother of Cups and the Mother of Pentacles. Ooh, child. Okay. <clears throat> it's not that you're not meeting people, Scorpio. They're just not matching you. Some people have... different value structures and some people have different ways of dealing with their cups but you do have the king and, and the mother here so mother of, is equal to queen that's interesting that <laughs> you're rejecting those cups and neither of them are wands well then <laughs> you gotta present yourself as a wand Scorpio. If you want to be a wand, you got to present yourself that way. 
And no, I don't mean like, you know. <laughs> go on Grindr or Tinder. I mean, if that's what you want, you could totally do that. But you have to. Mm. So while I was staring at the King of Wands, I've got the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're going to have to find a different way around. You're going to have to find a different way forward. And I don't think you need, need to be sneaky about it. There's a fox here, but he's upside down. Okay. I don't think you need to be sneaky about it. I think you need to rethink your approach because it's depleting you. And it, that's not what connection and love is supposed to be about, right? That's a, when you are in the authentic love, which don't tell anybody because they'll try to come in and squash it, right? When you're in that authentic love space, <laughs> Sophie agrees, poo on this. Don't even, even though it's the mother of pentacles and the mother of cups, it's still not for you. Maybe there's nothing really wrong with this, but it's not what you actually want from your root system. It's not what's in your core. So you could possibly be dealing with a uh, amount of, Fire or a lack of fire in your chart, in your natal chart. So see where you're lacking in your in your fire and see where your strengths are as well and bring those strengths forward to present yourself in a more fiery fashion. In a more um it's not that you're not desirable. You want to be desirable, but like the way in which you're presenting it through an emotional base, which would be scorpionic. But you can still put that desire out there. You can still embody someone who is desirable or wants to be desired. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's the only way you're going to up, right? Your pentacle, your seven of pentacles here. Dune cup. So this is it upright. This is in reverse. I feel like you're not letting anything grow until you figure this out, which is fine. That's not a bad plan. Can I get the seven of pentacles in reverse and the nine of swords in reverse? <clears throat> and we have the ten of pentacles at the bottom here. So I feel like you're solid. You're just like, I'm tired of doing this. Which pretty much everybody that even attempts to go into the dating field pretty much feels that way. Like, ugh. The Ten of Swords reversed. Uh, so you, you have, ooh, child. You've completed a cycle here. You're just gathering up your strength again. So you are enlightened about this. You do know what's up, but you're still depleted over it. Right, so thank you. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. That's fine. Everybody's <clears throat> constantly in healing mode. It's just a process of life. Just constantly healing from something. <gasps> That's a lot of cards for you. Okay, we're at 18 minutes. We'll see what we got. Oh, child, the Ten of Pentacles. I told you the Ten of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck. So, um, yeah, that's the Four of Cups in the upright. <laughs> Scorpio, the tree said sitting there being like, nope. Ooh, got the hangman in reverse. Sorry, the wind is a blow. I don't want that out of the way. I got, it popped out. I gotta take it. So, got the page. Wands. Even though there's swords here. Interesting. See, this is the page of wands. Okay. You're waiting for that message. Why are you waiting for it? Ooh, the sage. Ooh, look what he's holding. Oh. Ooh, Scorpio. Sorry, we just got your number. <laughs> I don't 
blame me there. You want somebody who's wise and knows better and whatever, whatever else. And you might be tired of waiting. You know, you're not going to wait. You're looking at this from a different point perspective. You're ready to take flight here. You're using your batty radar senses. What do you think, Sofefe? She's happy. It's purring. You hear? <laughs> So I think you might be taking a different perspective on this as well. Not just trying to get someplace else, but I think like you're starting to uncover these. Oh, the page of wands is going to come in and then like set, light some shit up for you, Scorpio. Okay. And he's, you know, older. But he's the sage. He's got an owl here, very wise wolf. Maybe he's a lone wolf. He, she, they, whatever. There's books here. Oh, I'll be too stuffy. <laughs> Basically, okay. Very cool. I think I'm going to read this. How many? Okay, we got 21 minutes. I'm going to read the sage for you because that's a, yeah, that's a major arcana. Usually they have really good insights. And maybe this will help you tell, like, how to identify, like, what it is. Maybe they have some sage advice for you. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Thanks for keeping him occupied, girl. <laughs> okay. Listen. The sage right here. This is all you need to know. Bathe thyself. Right. <laughs> I love you so much, Sophie. Okay. Ready? Say grow. Okay. Keywords, sharing, communication, knowledge, information, culture, tradition, advice, manipulation. Be the storyteller. Communicate your thoughts and feelings. Know your audience. Sorry. Devote. Thanks. I, that didn't need to be there. You're so right. Devote time to research and investigation. Learn the traditions and customs of others. Know your ancestors and heritage. Sage advice, both given and received. There is no good time to give unsolicited advice. Question your traditional reactions and responses. Do not speak so much that you forget to listen. Be wary of the smooth talker. Do not embellish the truth. Ooh, child, that's good advice. Baby girl. <laughs> Darling, you need to clean my space. This is ridiculous. Get these things off of my... <laughs> Right, Vicious Savage? Okay. Put that up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this sage, in his glory, is an enthralling character. He is the sagacious older man who is one who is entertaining, expressive, knowledgeable, informative, and just a little mystical and wizard-like. He is a perceptive man, a storyteller at heart, who can read and move his audience with skill and ease. He is also just a little bit of a magician, a master communicator. A master communicator. Where did we go? And when the sage card appears in your reading, it represents the sharing of knowledge and communication, philosophy, mythology, religion, culture, politics, history, science. There's not much that the sage does not love to learn about. That's a good match for Scorpio. He loves knowledge. He loves to understand the how and the why of everything and to develop <laughs> and to develop his knowledge to the highest level he can achieve. Knowledge is his one true passion. And at this stage of his life, sharing his knowledge, being a storyteller, is something that brings him great joy. He is, in essence, the voice of society, civilization, but with an unassuming flair for the dramatic. However, is unassuming as unassuming as he can be, 
He is a philosopher and orator who enjoys being the center of attention. He could be the perfect professor whose students lean in, listening intently to every word. He could also be the charismatic politician who charms his constitution. Constitute. <laughs> oh, I love you so, Fei Fei. Where did it go? Where are we going? Uh, where was it? The sage has a message that he feels is important. He will find a way and a means to deliver it to his target audience, and that audience will hang on every word. He has a particular affinity for young people, and you will often find him surrounded at gatherings, talking, debating, and sharing his wisdom and knowledge. He takes delight in the young child and will often place himself in the role of mentor to students. The sage is also a very deep thinker who sometimes feels the need to withdraw from the world so that he can devote time to research and investigation. He does not learn for learning's sake, but because he, is a dry, he has a driving need to understand the universe, the natural world, and humanity, his knowledge brings him clarity and enables him to be discerning. Okay. Oh my goodness. So all right, I am gonna read you the potential blockage just because some of the some of it was really interesting. Some red flags to look for for someone who's not a sage or could be pretending to be one, whatever. There is, however, a flip side to the sage. He can be just a little absent minded and also appear to be self absorbed. He loves to speak so much that sometimes he fails to listen. Is this you or someone you know? As, a well intentioned, as well as intention as you might be in sharing your knowledge, there could be a chance that you are not listening to something that you really need to hear. Like the cat trying to climb the wall. These cute. That's not a wise decision. <laughs> Beast cute. You guys have a good... It's up there. All right. The stage reverse is also symbolic of a smooth talker with the gift of gab. He can at times say what he knows people want to hear as opposed to what needs to be said. He represents someone who is a bit of a pied piper. Watch out for this person in your life because they are quite manipulative and could you could find yourself wandering off your own path and following theirs instead. In the reverse position, the stage also can be somebody who hates being wrong. He prides himself on offering accurate information. If so, he has been misled and then makes the mistake of offering inaccurate information. The stage can become quite defensive. He will resent being questioned, challenged, or criticized. Instead of apologizing, he may come to an argumentative and do everything to convince others he is correct because he is too proud to admit that he could be wrong. Or that an offered alternative point of view could also be correct. He can also be a little haughty and arrogant if people question his knowledge or offer a differing opinion. He takes such pride in being correct that when an alternative perspective or contradictory theory is offered, he can become quite querulous and bombastic. For a very open-minded and questioning person, there are sometimes there are times when the sage can be exceptionally close-minded and dogmatic. He likes to be right, someone for all the wrong reasons. When the stage appears reversed, he, can, he cautions against arrogance and prideful behavior in the face of criticism. If you do not always have to be right, nor do you have to win every argument, sometimes it is easier and reflects better upon you to admit that your facts or perspective might be a little skewed. If you do not fall into the trap of embellishing and twisting information so that it can be seen in a positive light, two wrongs do not make a right. Okay, Scorpio, so I can't tell you which person this is because I'm not you and I don't see what's in your life right now, but I can give you what the guys are telling me. So if you feel like that's what you're looking for, you can start to attract that, but be wary of people who are not going to be honest. People sometimes get a little scared of the truth and therefore that kind of blinds them to what they're stepping into because there's many people on the planet that like do the sage thing right there's a lot of people out there that are doing the sage thing so when it comes to how you're perceiving things know how you yourself perceive things it's not a 
a one size for me only. This isn't a Cinderella story. You can engage with people and be insightful and philosophical and want to discuss and debate. But it doesn't mean like that's what you're supposed to pair bond with. And that could be what you're hitting like a, a roadblock with is that you might be thinking that that's someone that you need permanently in your life. And that might not be the case. You might need to adjust how you're perceiving this. Not just in a, I want something I desire, I want to be desirable, but why is it that you want to be desirable? For Scorpios, it's not, it's not sex, sex, and only sex. We need that deep, intimate connection. And that means that we have to really be diligent and delegate who we dibby that out to, who we let in and who we just like, you know, touch and go. Like, oftentimes our medicine will be like, um, and it's not even a stinger. It's like, um, I'm going to give you a little tidbit and then it's time for me to leave. I'm going to take you on this journey as far as you're, you're going to go. And then I, I have to go. Um, that's a lot of struggle for Scorpio to release and let go of those, those connections that we are not, we're not supposed to have. For all eternity, we're supposed to touch and go. There's only few people that get to come into the Scorpio realm. And that's just how we are. We're creatures with the skeleton on the outside of ourselves. And that's for good reason. Because what's on the inside is really cool. And it, it needs to be protected. It needs to have that shell around it. Because there's rare occasions where that Scorpio... Entity is going to have that protection. Our, for whatever reason, our society has kind of like banned that from existence. And that's how they're controlling and manipulating things. Is like, no one's doing the protecting thing. Everybody's doing the attack thing. And it's like, the Scorpio medicine is simply asking us to come upon this with a different perspective. And many people don't understand how to do that. And it comes from the basis of not knowing how to show your affection, how to interpret it and how to I don't want to use the L word anymore for whatever reason that word is really off-putting to me I can't figure out why I think it's evolved backwards and it's really <laughs> it's really irking me on that level so I don't want to use that word anymore but anyway so this bliss that we seek with other people does not have to be on that sexual level. And Scorpios know that. Right? And I love you. <laughs> My time is running out. So until next time.